So, what are the differences between an OLED panel and a QD OLED panel? At the core, both of these technologies are the same, but there are some key compositional differences as well as performance differences that you should know about. To start off with the compositional differences, an OLED panel uses a white light source, whereas a QD panel uses a blue light source. So is that it? No, there's a little bit more. Let's get into it. The white light source on an OLED panel is what gives it the sometimes referred to name as a W OLED or white OLED. The white light is achieved using a blue LED, but it's coated with a yellow material to make it appear white which as you can imagine will take away a little bit of the brightness from the source light. The white light is then filtered through some color filters RGB. This has a considerable effect to the overall brightness when compared to the original light source. Now LG's panels do make up for some of the lost brightness by allowing an additional filter or a pass through which allows white light to shine through the RGB patterns. Although this means in majority of the cases you are losing a lot of the brightness, this does mean the whites really stand out, they're popping in an OLED panel. This does give a very unique experience, but it's still considerably less brighter than the original source light. And then come the second generation of OLED panels that LG have released, which is called the OLED EVO. Although this technology still uses a level of filter, what they've done is added a green light source and they've improved the material of the blue filters. LG claims this gives a 20% improvement in the brightness, peak brightness of the OLED panels they produce, which results in all the colors popping a lot more than the original first generation panel. So the OLED Evo is superior to the original first generation OLED panel. Then comes in the QD OLED. Now, this uses a blue light source, which is multiple layers of blue LEDs that are filtered in a different way. The QD OLED or quantum dot OLED use nanoparticles that allow different sized wavelengths to pass through the panel, hence giving you all the colors. This is an extremely high quality and efficient technology that gives you a higher peak brightness and a lot of other benefits that we will talk about. So on paper, you will notice the QD OLED actually smashes the other OLEDs out of the ground. But there are some key things and situations you need to keep in mind when going out to buy any of these. With QD OLED, you get higher peak brightness, you get improved color saturation, you get a better coverage of the color gamut, and several other benefits. However, the OLED EVO panels do seem to give QD OLED a run for its money even though QD OLED is still edging out in front when compared to the OLED EVO panel. Other than that, a couple of things to keep in mind, one being usage in a dark room. So OLED seems to perform better than QD OLED in a dark room. It has a glossy finish, which if you've seen any of the reviews of monitors or TVs, a glossy finish enhances the experience of the user in terms of colors. This does mean, however, in a brightly lit room, the reflections, you're gonna be able to see yourself in it. That combined with the lower brightness when compared to a QD OLED means you will most likely want to buy a QD OLED monitor or TV if you use it regularly in a brightly lit room. Currently, the QD OLEDs come in a semi-glossy finish and the brightness is just ahead, so in a bright environment, it's going to really stand out as the better option. One other thing to keep in mind is an OLED EVO panel would have slightly better response times. Now, this would probably be something you can't notice in the real world, um, but for some people it does make a difference just because they feel like they can react to the games faster. But the difference is so marginal and so inconceivable by the human eye that I don't think it's going to make a difference. If you look at the spec sheets, there will be a slight difference between the two. Saying all of that, you have to keep in mind, both of these technologies are far superior to anything that you've ever experienced before. If you're upgrading from a monitor TV that's around three years old, then get OLED EVO, get QD OLED, 
it's not really going to be something that you'll be disappointed with. You'll be blown away by the performance of both. Another thing to keep in mind when making a purchase is the burn-in warranty. Now, with OLED technology, we know with heat over time, there is a screen burn-in risk. So whichever technology gives you the better protection against burn-in is probably the one I would recommend. In the current market, I believe that's the QD OLED because the type of technology is it's able to mitigate the risks of burn-in. And finally, price. Price is king. If this is your first OLED panel and you have a concern about the amount of money you have to spend, I think you can just go for the cheaper option and you'll be safe either way. They're both phenomenal technologies. And to someone who doesn't actually compare them side by side, it's going to be amazing. Both of these technologies are really strong. If you still feel confused, what I would recommend is subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below. Myself and you, Maya, will personally respond to as many comments as possible and give you our humble opinion. And if you are in the market for gaming monitors, I would highly recommend check out this video here of some of the best upcoming gaming monitors. Until next time, over and out.